now I took the name Rodriguez and I put two spaces in the front and two spaces in the back. And then I said, select Rodriguez, characters, trim, trailing from Rodriguez. Now I'm going to have 11. You see, it went out and it trimmed the trailing spaces from Rodriguez. It got rid of the two spaces at the end and then it was able to pass that trim over to the characters command which counted the first two spaces and then the nine of Rodriguez for a character count of 11. This command's got a little Terry Tom genius in it. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Just kidding. Look away. I'm hideous. Now, I want you to take a look at this. We're going to select the first name and we're going to trim the trailing Y from the first name. Notice it's lowercase, my friend. Now, this is going to be more complicated because we're going to select the last name and we want to trim the trailing small g from last name. But notice here that before we even do that, we have to say, I want the last name. I've got that in red for you. Trim the spaces from the beginning and the end of last name. And then I want you to do another trim of the trailing G, and that's why the report has come out doing exactly what we thought it was going to do. Be sure to make sure you understand whether you have character data or var card data and know exactly what you want to trim. Sometimes I've told people, you know, nothing's really difficult once you understand, and sometimes they would laugh a little bit like that's silly. But that's just the way SQL and everything in life works. Things can look very complicated and all of a sudden you go, you know, I've been taught this, I understand it's so simple. Now, this is really important because you're going to see multiple things being passed from the inside out. And once you understand, you'll be able to follow along and do very advanced things. Take a look at what we have here for you, friends. We're going to select the first name. And since it's a bar car, no problem. There's no spaces at the end. We're going to trim the trailing Y from first name. And as you can see, Squiggy is now Squig and Billy is now Bill. But take a look at the next example. We're going to actually go out and take the last name and I've got that in blue for you in both places. We get the last name to show you the last name and then again I got the last name down here in blue. We'll trim the spaces off of that because it's a character field. Then we're going to trim the trailing G from the last name if there is a G ending the last name and then from there we'll pass that over and say Count the characters of this. Now, as you can see, Strickling down here counted nine. There's really ten characters in Strickling, but we were able to trim the trailing G. And the same with Coughing. It's really seven characters long. I'd know it's my name, except we've trimmed the trailing G from that. We've got a character count of six. So when you see that complicated SQL where you got trims and characters and trailing and lengths, you just start from the very right and realize that once you trim that, it passes it and passes it and passes it and passes it. You'll be able to figure this out from now on because you understand. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out CoughingDW.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.